Welcome back to Silent Hill. I'm about to use the examination room key down on the first floor. We just got that key in the last episode. And I think it might allow us to finally leave the hospital. Just like the school, it feels like I've been here forever. Um, but before I open this door, I do want to mention something. So remember the VHS tape that we watched from last time and how I tried to replay it to see if I could maybe hear something that I missed before, but I couldn't because the VCR broke after playing it once? Well, I reviewed the footage to try to get as much from it as possible, playing it back at super high volumes and stuff like that, and I got a tiny bit more out of it. So still unusually high fever, something something, don't, getting a pulse, just barely breathing, his skin is on fire, won't tell a soul, I promise, please. So the first part of that, the fever, not like something, something getting a pulse, just barely breathing, his skin is on fire. That sounds like the, uh, you know, somebody in the hospital trying to take care of a patient who's not doing well. Skin is on fire, unusually high fever. Those both go together, just barely breathing. Yeah, it sounds like they're trying to take care of a patient. And also, I am pretty sure it says his skin is on fire. And then the second part sounds like it's coming from the same person. Won't tell a soul, I promise, please. And the way they said it, it sounded like they were pleading with somebody. Like, you know, please don't kill me, I won't tell a soul, I promise, or something like that. So, not entirely sure what to make of that, but got a little bit more out of it. Let's unlock this door. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl? What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. 
believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! <laughs> they just show up when I want to, spout off some mystical stuff, tell us where to go next, and then leave. I love it. I was thinking Lisa would come with us when we switched worlds, but they didn't. Does that mean they're still in the other world? If so, I'm so sorry. I wonder if I'll ever see him again. Antique shop key. Wait, what does it have to do with the church? Well, I guess we gotta leave this place to look at the other map. Fresh air. Sorta. Of. Hmm. This one's not marked on the map. Pawn Shop Key. Is it even here in this district? I don't see it. There's sort of a thing on the map right next to where the character is. Almost saying I should go down that street, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what that's indicating. But I guess I'll try. God, I hate that buzzing noise. Weird buzzing noise. Oh, that just ends. Okay. Yeah, antique shop key. I don't know if this is it because, God, it's barely readable, but in the very, very, very top right of this map here, in this district, that yellow building on the top right with the text on it says antique something something. Would they really make me go to a place that is like almost unreadable on the map? That's so bizarre. That might not even be it, but I'm gonna try. We'll probably find ourselves funneled to where we need to go. Roads that just end. So many weird noises. Let's just keep going forwards. Nice jump. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Oh, these are new. I don't know what they are. I hope they can't run faster than me. I hear him still. Okay, now I don't. God, these noises. It's so bad. Almost there. Go past the Silent Hill Town Center. It seems so big I should try to, like, go in it or something. If there's even a door. Oh, this is the place. It's been all messed up. 
Front door has been broken. Sign's been broken. There we go. I can't believe they seriously made me go somewhere that I could barely read on the map. It's so weird. Clock, nothing special. None of this stuff is of any use. Ah, there's something behind this dresser. There's a trace on the floor that somebody moved the cabinet. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Ah, oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts! What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream? What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there. 
and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry, you're tired. Yeah, maybe. I love Harry's response to when Sybil says all that nonsense about maybe the drugs being the darkness that Dahlia Gillespie was talking about, and Harry just goes, hmm, because no? <laughs> the darkness sweeping this town is not the horrors of drug addiction. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Sybil. My god, there's literal monsters on the street. It's interesting that Harry says that they can't... Like, when they try to think of the other world, their mind goes blank. So they remember some stuff, obviously. They remembered Lisa. But I, I guess if they try to really recall it, it feels like a dream. Just like when you try to recall details from a dream, most of them just kind of... You have this vague feeling of them, but they sort of slip out of your grasp. And Harry seems to be the only one that knows about this other world. But obviously other people are in that world, like Lisa. So I guess others do know about the world, but just Sybil hasn't ever seen it. Okay, what the hell is this? I don't like these holes. seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Yeah, I was just thinking. It was a bit strange that Dahlia talked about going to the other church and then gave me a key to an antique shop, right? I mean, an antique shop isn't a church, really. But I guess this hidden church is behind it, so there's two churches. The first one that we first went to when we first met Dahlia was kind of the church that most people know about, and then this one is the secret one. Ooh, take it? Yes. Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. What is that picture? I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but the only thing I can see it as is like some sort of incredibly buff, like Jesus on a cross kind of thing, but I just don't actually see the cross. But they're incredibly buff and have massive arms, and then their head is just like some sort of weird emoji thing. <laughs> I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Probably supposed to put something here. Hmm. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this Floros. Small one hand axe, moderately effective as a weapon. Highly damaging, hard to use. Okay, so it actually does less damage than this, but I guess it's probably quicker to swing or something. Let's test it out. Similar attack pattern to the other weapons. Two swings, one swing, one strong swing. It's got quite a thwack to it, doesn't it? Pew, pew. Lock is jammed. This door can't be opened.
Do I need to go back then? Wait, what's this? Nothing. Oh, wait a second. I have a lighter. Or... Oh, that got used up when I burned the vines. I was thinking I could light the candles. There's nothing I could put in the chalice, right? Back in the other world, am I? Lisa. Where am I? Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. Queer religion? I'm Soon down. people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? I don't want to think so, but maybe this is all just going on in my head. I could have had a car accident, and uh, now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake. But the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. Oh, this is a good camera angle. And there is one of those occult symbols on the ground. It was interesting that when I went back into the, the other world where Lisa is, that Lisa said you were having a bad dream. It's kind of funny because to Harry, this place is like a bad dream. 
But then maybe to Lisa, the other place is a bad dream? This one definitely seems like the worst dream, though. So yeah, I didn't know the occult was so tied into the Silent Hill series. I'm trying to think if that's focused on anymore in the future Silent Hill games. I don't know them well enough to really tell. Because I feel like when I think of Silent Hill and, and like what cost is, uh, you know, what's causing all this sort of stuff, I'm thinking more like some sort of horrific nightmare journey into the broken mind of these characters. And that's sort of the space we're exploring in some way. It's sort of within maybe the main character's head in some way as they're like, laying on an operating table dying or something like that. I've always thought that's kind of the general idea and not some sort of occult thing. Wait, that was the antique shop. This is coming out of the antique shop? Going into the town? Oh god, we're going to be in the town on the other side? Shit. What does it look like? Looks real bad. I don't know what those things are. But I don't like them. Jesus! Freaking fast. Didn't take too many shots to take down, though. Might be shotgun enemies. Can't do enough damage before they start hurting me. Oh, I'm out of pistol ammo anyway, so yes, they are shotgun enemies. Got 17 shotgun shots. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna explore the town of Silent Hill on the other side 